The wind's picking up. Well, hello, Bryony. Here I am in New York City where we first met in person. This is actually not where we first met in person. I think we met at uh, Washington Square Park, where I was at like a few days ago, a week ago. I had like a rush of memory from uh, 7707, so a YouTube gathering that we did. No, I'm actually here in Brooklyn right now, heading over to Prospect Park. Jaywalking is encouraged in New York City. I think I I hit my load. So so much mud. It's nice though, it smells good. I can smell the ions. But uh I hit my load of acid, man. My lymphatic system's just like a good place to set up shop. Sounds like some sort of carnival or festival. I'll be like walking up the pathway and I'll just like lock eyes with someone for a second and they just like, they look at me. Like they think they're tripping on mushrooms right now. That's pretty awesome. I think there was a revolutionary war battle here and that the American troops retreated across this clearing. Like this used to be like woods. Here I am. Well, I was tagged, so uh, let's do this. Good to see you, Bryony. Paper lilies. Um, so I guess there's this tag thing going around YouTube, and uh, there's some questions got asked to some people, and so I'm going to. Answer them. Okay. Let's start from the top, shall we? I've got my notes consisting of the questions. First question Why are you called that? Well, I, there's two ways to answer that because I have two accounts. The first account is Cross Mac. And the reason I'm called Cross Mac is because in seventh grade, when uh, I was looking for an email address, my first email address, we had AOL dial-up. And I was like, oh, I'm so Cross Man. And so I went to sign up for Crossman at AOL.com, but Cross Man was taken by Don Crossman of Virginia, United States. So I could not be Cross Man. And had I been Cross Man, I would have been cross man on YouTube. So I was like, what's the next best thing? I'll be cross Mac. Mac Daddy, yo. So I chose cross Mac at AOL.com. And the name just stuck. I used it for my code names on like all different websites and everything. It was my sign in name. So when I got to YouTube, I was like, yeah, yeah, I'll be cross Mac. Little did I know anyone would ever say anything about it. That's the history of cross Mac. Um, why are you called that? Part two. Ian Crossland? Good question. It's Scottish for John, Ian, and uh, I think I have like Scottish ancestry. Jan, Jan, Jan. Uh, Crossland. Uh, there's a Crossland Hills in England somewhere. It's like a little burial ground, I guess. The land of the cross where they would crucify people. And maybe at some point people actually crossed land, but I think it has to do with the uh, land of the cross, the, uh, the killing grounds, if you will. My middle name being Arthur, which isn't really relevant because it's not my, my, uh, it's not on my YouTube name. Thank you very much. Uh, number two, tell us about your favorite school teacher. Okay. Mr. John Struby, ninth grade geometry. This guy turned me on to mathematics in a way that I'd never been turned on before, let me tell you. He was just very kind and understanding and fun and loving and like, funny, like he enjoyed math and he enjoyed teaching people about it and everybody liked him. I mean, and I actually sent him an email. I got a response 
when I uh, put Roger up online, the single, I emailed it out to everyone in my address book, and he was in the address book, and he responded. He was like, oh my gosh, still teaching. John really, he, he got me in math because in school I was the kind of guy that, you know, I, maybe this will be hard for you to believe, but I didn't like doing a lot of the work. Like, I wouldn't do my home, some of my homework. I'd wait to the last minute, do it right before it was due, or sometimes I wouldn't do it. But really, the thing that really I didn't like doing in math, and I love geometry, I love spatial representation, but, like, was proofs, proving. I'd, I'd see the problem, and I would know the answer. I'd, I'd look at the top, and I'd be like, okay, 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 that's the answer. But they'd be like, no, no, you got to prove it. You've got to write all your steps, and there's a very specific way to do this. And that just, I don't know if infuriated is, is the most accurate term, but it bothered me. I was like, why do I have to go through this work of showing you my steps? Can't, if the answer's right, the, yeah, just in case the answer's wrong, we have to go back and see where it messed up. And I'm like, yeah, you're right. Okay, so this is a, an exercise. This is, this is an exercise in being wrong, basically. So anyway, he was understanding that I didn't like proofs, and we still got along really well. Oddly enough, I've never really worked on proofs after that. Okay. Struby, hats off to you. Number three. What is the strangest food you've ever eaten? I can tell you that because I've been thinking about it. Beef tendons. Um, I just thought it was a beef tenderloin. But um, I think the first time I was in New York City, no, not the first time, but when I, when I first lived here, I went down to Chinatown. Actually, Bob was here, a friend of mine, like a old friend of mine. They came up to visit, so it was like early, like right after I'd moved out here in 2001. And uh, we went down to Chinatown, and we were like, yeah, let's go to get some Chinese food. And we went in, and I was like, I'll get the beef tendon. And the Chinese waiter was like, no, 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 no. That's uh, Chinese people only. You know, like, you won't like, you don't like, the China, for Chinese people only. I'm like, yes, okay, no, I'll have the beef tendon. He's like, oh, uh. Oh, 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 okay, oh, okay, oh, the ch only Chinese, okay. I'm like, thank you, thank you, sir. And I got it, and it was uh, noodles smothered in, like, uh, tendons and this, like, brown sauce, and it was, like, uh, gelatinous, kind of chewy. You know, it was a tendon. I couldn't, I didn't finish it. It was hard to eat. It, it felt weird in my stomach. I think that's the weirdest thing I've ever eaten. I'm not going to think too much about it. That's my final answer. Number four. Tell us about your first gig. Okay, my first gig. See, the thing about gig, maybe this is a translation from uh, British English to American English. When I think of a gig, I think of something that I performed. The first concert I ever went to was MC Hammer, and that was like in fourth grade. And that was really cool because this kid kept getting up and dancing in the aisle, and security would come over and tell him to sit down because MC Hammer's up there performing. And the kid finally gets up, and they come over, and they're like, they just take him away. They come over, they sit him down again, and they come over, and they just get him and take him. It's like, aw. And then, like, a little bit later, he comes up on stage. MC has him up on stage, and they start dancing together on stage. It was really cool. I actually saw MC Hammer years later at YouTube Live, uh, 2010. We went to an after party that he was hosting. Uh, my first gig that I played, I guess, was with The Panic at the Roxy or something. And it was a big mess because I took my shirt off, but I wanted to be like Anthony Kiedis, you know? But I wasn't like... Anthony Kiedis, and I wasn't in shape. Maybe I'm telling you too much. Number five, what is your favorite place in the world? Well, the cliche answer would be right here, right now. But the real answer, boy, that's tough, man. The beach, the beaches of Los Angeles, just the beach in general. I really like Venice. I like it because I'm not there right now. I like the grass, I like the green. city, water, being underwater, is that fair? 
I think I'm gonna say the sunny beaches of California. I would call it a lifeline if I had one here. Um, number six, who do you want to answer this survey next? Let me rephrase that question. Who do you want to answer the survey next? Ben Donovan. Badonsky, I want to hear your responses to these questions, particularly who your favorite school teacher was. Who else would I like to hear this, answer this thing? Dave Days? Uh, I'm just naming people that I know on YouTube. What about... Uh, ben Peterson, Sven Andrew, Skylar Andrew, Bill Ottman, Christian Mangala, Thomas Johansson, Maggie Toe, Caitlin Hill, Brookers, Brooke, what, I don't even know your fucking last name, bro. Um, Jordan Erickson. I'm not naming your YouTube names, though, just now. Should I have The Darkener? Should I have? Uh, that's it. That's who I wanted to answer the question.